hey guys it's me kim welcome back to the channel i'm always messing with my hair in my videos but anyway my hair um happy friday so it is friday me and hubby have been watching handmaid's tale so we're gonna watch that again today we're really excited about that um uh, we started watching um which season is it? i don't even know which what season it is but we started back to watching it yesterday and we're gonna start back watching it today um anyway gosh my nose is running but um i think i want me some more coffee that's what i'm gonna make yes anyway guys um nothing major going on uh kennedy's in school virtual so is jordan jazzy is home she's not working today she's off today she um is um doing her finals I guess it's finals week that's what she said so um she finished up a chemistry i believe it was her chemistry um test today so she got that done and oh that's nice watch that and um she starts working officially um with a full schedule um in a week i believe in about a week Ooh. Gosh, I'm dropping stuff. Anyway, and Keno is super excited about school being out soon. I know you can't wait. She cannot wait. We got like two more weeks before school is out. No, two more days. Ten more days? A week and what? Eight, three days? And um what do we have planned jordan's gonna have a little summer job um jazzy's gonna have a summer job i might have a summer job well i don't know if it's gonna be probably gonna lead over into the, the um season for christmas or whatever but i'm probably gonna be looking for a job around um uh, in a couple of Let's see, in a couple of weeks? No, it'll probably be about a month or so because right now we're going to um, start looking for a second car. So once we get that second car and things are a lot smoother, you know, won't be interfering with my daughter's, um, with my hubby having to go to work, starting back to work, and then Jazzy going to work, and then going to school, back to school, starting back up, and then me having to take the girls to school. Uh, we're definitely going to need a second car, so we are looking into that. We're going to start car shopping in a few weeks uh, for that. And that's when I'll start looking for me a little job, a seasonal job, possibly. And I have a couple of places in mind. And um, hopefully, you know, I'll be having me a little second part-time, a little part-time job. Mm -hmm. I don't have any sweet treats. Y'all, you, you guys ate all the nuts? The, um, I got the nuts, the fruit. Oh, gosh. Can you give me a, uh, well, that's okay. That's okay. Gosh. Woo. Water is hot. I am making me some coffee. Well, have some food. Did you eat even even eat lunch yet? Yeah, I am making my second my second cup of coffee this morning. This morning, this afternoon. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, hubby had to go um, to work. Go into work because um, they they're interviewing some people, and he has to interview someone so that is what's going down <laughs> that's what's going down um so he just left not too long ago and then he should be back probably in a couple of hours um i know yeah yeah so he should be back in a couple of hours and then um i think he also is gonna do mother's day shopping so mother's day shopping 
for me and also for his mom so that is what's going on you guys what am i wearing today well i'm wearing this cute little like shirt blouse robe whatever you want to call it I'm wearing that with this cute little green like flowy top and a denim skirt today i already ate lunch i had um salad um cut up some well actually i didn't have to cut it up but i had salad mix that i bought Some salad mix, and I did cut up some onion though, and some cucumbers, and then what else? I made some tofu. Um, cooked that on top of the stove, and that's what we had for our lunch. And as far as like snacks, uh, since we do keto or low carb, rather, we do nuts. Um, hubby does like dark chocolate like a really high percentage and he still has this a couple of pieces of a little bar of dark chocolate i think it's like um is it 90s 92 or something like that it's pretty high i'm not crazy about it <laughs> but yeah that's what um we usually have there's just a little bit left in here of tofu everybody's eating lunch so and then i made some um cabbage cabbage stir fry so in the meantime i'm going to make i am still cold gosh i'm still cold from um drinking on and eating my ice i love it i am just addicted you guys oh and as far as my perfume let me put my water in here see this is my first bottle actually i had this and a half, so I gotta fill it up one more time, and that'll be my water for the day. So, hello. Ooh, my nose is running. So, anyway, as far as my fragrances, um, I wore last night to bed the Eternity Moments. My husband really liked it. At first when he smelled this, he wasn't quite sure if he'd like it, but um, it kind of grew on him, so he really liked it on me, so that's what I wore to bed. Uh, when I woke up, I didn't smell it this morning, so I think it lasts for a couple of hours. It's one of those scents that, um, and it's an eau de parfum uh, from what I remember, the spray. I don't even see it on here, but yeah, I can't even make it out. Goodness, but yeah, this is what I had on last night. Today I am wearing the Ellie Tahari. I think that's how you pronounce it. I really like this. Um, as you see, I have used quite a bit, you know. So I really like it. I love the bottle. It's really pretty. And um, I had also been wearing, I wore a little bit of this this morning. I had a tiny bit of this, but after I um, later on touched up, I just put some of this on. And this is another new scent hubby likes, the uh, Sheer Beauty by Calvin Klein. But yeah, I am learning about fragrances and the notes and all of that type of stuff. So it's um, a lot of fun learning about you know, uh, the different types of scents and notes and things that are made up in fragrances. And this is all the other stuff. Like I said, I want to have three tiers of fragrances. That is part of my goal, which is to have um, about 10 more bottles, which is doable. You know, probably end up with way more than that by the end of the year. But um, I definitely want to add more fragrances to my collection because it's just so much fun and I just enjoy um, you know the complexities of all the really nice scents you know so that is what's happening so anyway I'm gonna go I gotta fold up and well hang up some of these clothes that I just washed coffee is about ready I'm gonna whoa coffee is about ready so I'm gonna go ahead and fix my another cup but first I'm gonna apply reapply my lipstick um, my lipstick that I have the new lipstick is 
what is this? L'Oreal Paris. Um, how he loves this lipstick on me. Mm. Yeah, he really likes this lipstick on me. He keeps on, on saying it, how he really likes it. And if you're wondering what the color is, um, what it's called, it's chestnut, rich chestnut, 118 or 118 is the number. If you're curious, um, and this is the tube, what it looks like. And then I've got another lipstick that he likes on me that he, because my hubby, hubby was never really, he's never... Like, as far as red lipstick, he always was turned off by red lipstick. This is before I started wearing it. He always said, I don't like red lipstick on, um, you know, certain skin tones. But he likes it on me lately. Rich Ruby, that's the color of this one. And this is really pretty. I was going to wear this, but lately I've just been wearing the Rich, Rich Chestnut. And this one is called rich ruby so they're all rich you know so um every week i've been trying different lipsticks just to you know try something different and with my makeup and then as far as my makeup you can see the review of this one on my beauty channel covergirl clean fresh rich uh 600 is color i'm wearing this right now and it's um would I buy it again? I don't necessarily feel like I need it, but it's um it's okay, you know. It does give you a really nice natural look when you um are wearing it for a foundation all over and it's it basically feels like you're not wearing anything at all. And I think that's what a lot of people like. Oh excuse me, want to do that just to wear something that's very, very, very light. Anyway, um let me go ahead and make me some coffee. What are you up to, little one? My baby is... Oh, what's wrong? Oh, God. There's nothing. There's nothing. There is nothing. Nothing. Without you. Okay. Coffee time. I made it strong, too. Goodness. Uh -oh. See what this tastes like. And as far as like carbs in the coffee, I don't even count. No, I don't even count that. Mmm, mm, that is so good. Ah, what is my baby making? Hmm. What kind of food? Peanut butter jelly. Pizza? Hmm? Toast with all kinds of greens on it? And jelly and must and mayo? No, one slice is gonna have jelly and one is gonna Don't have Don't put this. that in there. It's dangerous. I, did it. I just did that. Guys, my flowers outside are have bloomed. They really have. I have to show you guys. I'm not going out there right now though, but because I don't wanna I'm going to have to really take my coffee out there, even though it is such a beautiful day. But my flowers are blooming. They are so pretty. My um, I forget what kind of flowers they are. They're some kind of lilies, I believe. Mm. Let me see if I can show y'all. Hold on. Look how they have bloomed. They look so pretty. Yep. So... They are doing very well. And so far, I just stuck uh, my little Buddha. It's got this little green flower thing in there, but it's too short. As you see, it's too small. But I want to get me some, like, white roses to put in here. I think some white, pretty white roses will look really nice in here. Of course, not fake. I mean, not fake. Not real roses. But um, if I can, I'll possibly go and find some dried flowers because I love dried flowers like these right here. These are dried. Look at how pretty they are. And they smell good. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I have over here, these are also some dried flowers.
flowers or greenery rather very pretty the green now this stuff right here the other lighter shade of green those aren't um, real those are artificial but um yeah I am just a sucker for like greenery and as you see I got I bought this plant I think last week and then I got I've all already had all this stuff but I am a sucker for things like this that is spiky right here and then I love stuff like that and then over here on my hubby side is so pretty I love this thing look how beautiful it is I think I paid like was it 60 bucks for it not too bad um, at all and then my beautiful fiddle leaf I love 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 my fiddle leaf fig I have been wanting a fiddle leaf fig forever and I wanted to get a real one but everybody that I watch talk about how difficult it is to care for a fiddle leaf fig so I just ended up getting a fake one you know and it looks kind of real right but you know it's not and then over here and then I got this plant and I just love greenery you know and I'm, I'm just really into all of that stuff oh and then on the bed I put this tray here then I bought this so I am not done buying greenery um, I still want to get a couple of more plants for the bedroom and I want to put something over here by this mirror until I can find the mirror that I want but um to cover the bottom because I had to push it up to elevate the uh, mirror to make it look you know at the height I kind of wanted but it's still not turning out the way I wanted it so anyway yeah so I'm gonna look for something to watch I've been watching a lot of educational I'm always watching educational um you know documentaries and informative information about health that is my thing I love love learning and um, I am learning right now how insulin resistance and cardio uh, or the vascular system and all of that how it kind of like um, basically how insulin resistance can interfere with your your vascular system and cause all kinds of problems um, throughout your body you know because insulin resistance is like the start of a lot of different diseases and if you can basically solve your you know or the fact that a lot of doctors don't do pre or test for like insulin resistance until it's too late um, they don't do a whole lot of pre-screening or you know like um, glucose challenges or glucose to, to monitor your glucose levels and test for it um, they just kind of like wait for it um, I don't know it, it, if you could solve all of that through diet basically that's the bottom line and it's just learning about all that stuff it's just so interesting to me and how um, how do they say cardiovascular disease is kind of like another way of our cause of diabetes it's like another term for diabetes it's like I don't know it's just interesting how those two things kind of like coexist you know it's like you have one without the other or you you end up having issues basically you know that deals with blood sugar you know having too much insulin too much sugar too elevated and it, it can cause one or the other, you know. And a lot of times pre people are uh, misdiagnosed, you know what I'm saying. And so if you can, like, start with uh, all of that, you can solve a lot of issues. And the fact that the uh, Diabetes Associ Association, the diet that is recommended is not necessarily the diet that should be, you know, consumed when you have diabetes and how diabetes is a reversible disease and people don't understand a lot of times people don't do it they don't understand that they can reverse you know the fact that they're having to take in insulin and all that because it's not that the body can't make it it's just the body can't absorb it properly in the cell 
So I don't know. It's just so much information, but it's so interesting to constantly hear it and try to, you know, uh, practice some of the things with through diet. So that's why we do what we do in our family, trying to get the kids to, you know, eat low carb and not too much, um, you know, too many grains and things like that. Just cutting out certain things and keeping the blood sugar stable because that is the key. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and I hope you guys enjoy um, your day today. Today's happy Friday. It's Friday and I will talk to you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.